<laughs> Cello scrotum was a medical condition described in a brief case report in the British Medical Journal in 1974. Like, there's a condition called runner's nipple that you might have experienced if, unlike me, you've ever ran a day in your entire life. It's a chafing of the nipples that's commonly experienced when there's too much prolonged friction between clothing and nipples. So the April 1974 issue of the British Medical Journal had a very short case study where a doctor described guitar nipple. The doctor had seen three patients that were learning the classical guitar and experienced similar symptoms. So in the very next issue, the May issue, this article appeared. Sir, though I have not come across guitar nipple as reported by Dr. P. Curtis, I did once come across a case of cello scrotum caused by the irritation from the body of the cello. The patient in question was a professional musician and played in rehearsal, practice, or concert for several hours each day. <laughs> of course, the cello scrotum article was a hoax article and was never actually a real thing. There was only slight indication of skepticism at the time, though. The next issue, June, saw this letter. Did Dr. J.M. Murphy's patient hold the cello in an unorthodox way? Personal observations suggest that the body of a cello is normally separated from the scrotum by several centimeters. It wasn't until 2009, in another letter to the BMJ, that Elaine Murphy, <laughs> a British politician and member of House of Lords, admitted to writing the letter and having her husband sign it. She said she believes that the guitar nipple letter <laughs> was likely a joke as well.